Hi, I'm Chris Scott with the Caddis Fly Shop in Eugene, Oregon. Today we're going to show you how to tie a variation of an old bonefish fly called the Puff. This is the modern Puff with some new materials from Airline. 811S saltwater hook. Um, the thread we're going to use is a Dan Bill's flat waxed shell pink. I'll start by just starting the thread right behind the eye like that. Clip off the tag. We're going to use some double pupil eyes. These are pink. Look really natural, realistic eyes. I think this look, makes the fly look really nice. So I'll start that figure eighting thread over the lead eyes behind the eye of the hook. I want to leave a good section between the eye and the lead eyes here to finish the fly in a sec. So I'm going to figure eight back and forth. And then I'll get my thread back here. I'm going to move the thread back, the thread back to the front, right behind the eyes. I'm going to get this thread out of my way just by whip finishing it off like that. Now we're going to build a body behind the eyes with this Vivis material here. This is called Iris. This is a nice salt water pink color. I'll start it right behind the lead eyes, clip off the tag. I'm going to move it back near the end of the shank and then bring it back forward. This will add a nice pink sparkle, just like so, and then I'll whip finish that off. Just with a single wrap should be enough for now. And if you want, if you want to keep these eyes in place, I recommend using something like this hard as hull uh, cement material. You can use it for a lot of things. Right now I'm going to use it to cover up this body and make it a lot stronger so it'll stand up to everything that goes on in salt water. So just a little bit there. I'll take the excess off of here. Just spread that over that body right like that. There you go. And that'll help hold the fly together while you're fishing it. Now I'm going to take the hook and turn this thing upside down in the vise, like so. And then I'm going to restart the thread right behind the eye and clip off the tag. I'm going to bring the thread now back to where it's just behind the eyes, right there. Now we're going to add a new product from Hairline. It's called the Wooly Critter Brush. This one has little uh, pink rubber legs that come out from the, the wire brush interior. So I'm going to cut that and square off the end of that. I'm going to pull the material back so I can tie it in right at the wire. So I'll just tie that in right behind the eyes. Okay, now I'm going to move the thread back in front of the eyes. Now I'm going to take this material and as I, as I move this stuff forward around the eyes, I'm going to be stroking the material back so it stays behind the eyes and always facing backwards. So I'm going to keep this pulled forward now and I'm going to come back over the eyes, figurating just one time there. Now I can tie this off right now. And then I'm going to clip off the rest of this brush right here. And I'm going to try I'm going to try and keep putting wraps of thread it right here behind the eye as I'm bringing the material backwards. There we go. Now I can add a piece of this coyote mask that's going to be an overwing for the fly here. I'm going to choose a section from a section of this mask that has a little bit of brown in it. There we go. Just about like so. Now I'm going to trim, pull off the under fur first. Trim it square, 
just like so. And then come in and set this right in behind the eye. There we go. I'm going to try and get this material to sit equally on each side of the top before I tighten it down too much. And I can kind of splay it apart with my fingers as I pull it backwards. There we go. Then as I'm pulling the rest of this material back, I'm going to finish the head of it just nice and clean with thread. I'm going to keep building the thread up until I've got a nice, even front to the fly, just like so. And then I can come in with my whip finisher, do a couple wraps right there at the front. And we're done. At this point, I would add a little bit of head cement or epoxy, in this case, this hardest hull material just to the front of the fly just to keep those those final wraps and that whip finish from going anywhere and there you go modern puff